Right, good morning everybody. Welcome back yet again. Um, now I want to have a quick look at, as I said um, in a previous video, I want to have a quick look at Belarus and what is happening there. Now I had recorded this video previously, uh, forgot to turn my volume up, so the volume was absolutely atrocious. So I thought I'd have another go. Now, my original reading uh, I had recorded um, a couple of days ago to be released a couple of days ago, uh, and because of, I just thought I'd see how things um, progressed in that neck of the woods before I replaced it with an audio, a better audio reading, and just see what the cards throw at it, up at me this time. And very interestingly enough, in the previous reading, I had read that um, there will be a fe female figure that will come into prominence to challenge, uh, what's his name, Lukashenko, who's basically given Belarus to Putin and his cronies on the plate. And then lo and behold, um, up pops um, now, what was her name? There is a, ah, there it is. Sorry, I've got a whole <laughs> notepad full of notes everywhere. And apologies for this pronunciation. Svalana Tiskanovskaya. Oh, that was the worst pronunciation ever. I do apologize. Uh, sick and now sky sick. Yeah, I do apologize. I'll put a link to it down below. Uh, a prominent female figure, obviously, in Belarus, who has uh, publicly stated that, um, Lukashenko has betrayed Belarus. She is deposing him and she is declaring herself leader. Interesting. So I'll give a, give a full read on her. But what I wanted to have a quick look at was the future of Belarus. So currently it's under, under a dictatorship leader. Uh, I haven't looked really into how he's come into power. Um, apparently, um, uh, Recent surveys have said 70% of Russians publicly support Belarus coming, becoming part of Russia. I don't know that I'd publicly not support anything in Russia at the moment, but um, great to see the protests in regards to Ukraine going ahead. However, 85% of Belarusians have said that flat out they do not want to become part of Russia or they did not answer. Now I'm assuming the did not answer is um, for fear of retaliation. So I completely understand that. So uh, what's happened is that um, recently as part of this plan, uh, Putin has 30,000 Russian troops in Belarus um, on so-called military exercises for the Belarusian army. Um, if that's not how you call Belar the Belarusian people, I do apologise. This is just my Australian version of it. Um, they were supposed to go home just prior to the invasion of Ukraine by Russian troops, but they stayed. Of, um, and they stayed. They were supposed to go home a couple of days ago, a couple of days before the invasion, and they stayed. And this is the obvious reason why. So what's happened is that. Troops have, have moved into Ukraine from um, Russian troops from Belarus itself. Apparently, uh, the Belarusian Armed Forces has also supplied troops. And it is rumoured that they are the Belarusian troops are receiving their orders from um, Russia. So I want to have a look at several things in regards to this. But I want to have a look at Lukashenko. So I will do a full Celtic cross. I'll just put, push that back a little bit. Full Celtic cross into Lukashenko. 
I want to see what his present, past and future tells us about him. So Lucas Schenker, tell me about. So he's the dictator. Um, uh, unity card flung out. But I think what this is, is this is his marriage with Russia and the Fool. Now in this particular deck I'm using, it's my Mystical Manga cards. In this particular deck, the Fool, um, he's not setting out on his journey. He's not confident. This is, to me, this is Lukashenko and it is his foolishness. He is being the play for a fool by Putin and his cronies. So tell me about Lukashenko. So, okay, so I've now assigned in this pack the fool card to Lukashenko. Lukashenko, Lukashenko, there's two different ways of spelling it. I'm not sure which is true, but he is pushing for Belarus to become a satellite of Russia. The Belarusians have strongly come out and said, no, thank you. But tell me about present, past and future for Lukashenko. Lukashenko. Okay. Nine of Cups. He's this is the, the card for illusion and delusion. So at the moment this is this is the energy that he is sitting in. Challenged by um, plans on the world stage, decisions that are being made on, okay, so he's, what he's being challenged by is his decisions on the world stage. <clears throat> Base of the pack, we have the Ace of Wands, a fiery new beginning. The bringing of messages, the bringing of new starts. What I might do, I'll just shut this blind, this, these shutters to see whether that makes this cut. Yeah, that's better for the cards. They're a bit shiny, these ones. In the past, we've got the Knight of Swords, which is a harsh truth coming forward. Crowning the reading is the complement to this one, is we've got the plans coming to fruition. He is being challenged by his plans on the world stage, his plans coming, progress, expansion. However, in the immediate future, as we've got temperance, um, which is about rebalancing, um, harmony, moderation, the grounding spiritually and physically, and this is in the immediate future. So this is not... For Lukashenko, this is something that's coming out that's going to moderate external influences, the Ace of Cups, which is an emotional overwhelming by the Belarusian people. The internal influences is the Queen of Swords. So for him internally, uh, this, this card popped up in the reading that I'm not posting. This is this... Um, uh, young lady who has declared herself the leader, bringing forward the truth. So that is the internal influence on him at the moment. Uh, he's being stopped. He's being stopped in what he's doing. Uh, there is something that is going to be revealed. Oh, two pages. Okay. Uh, page of Swords. There is a message of truth that is going to be brought forward regarding his manipulation and it is the ending it is the ending on the world now i haven't got the tower card um what i've got is there's putin popping up it's the the ending is in regards is being brought about by his contract with putin right base of the pack king of swords powerful figure coming forward 
uh, who um, will bring forward the truth that he will find burdensome. He, he will find that he is um, basically, uh, for want of a better way to put it, being held hostage by what he has done. He cannot deny it. So there's nothing overly dramatic there, as in no tower card, no death card. Um, my next question is, will the Belarusian people rise up against him? Will the Belarusian people? Now I'm thinking about when this Ukraine issue is settled. I have read on the past and I have seen and everything tells me that Ukraine will um, come out on top with the assistance of, of the rest of the world. Ukraine will prevail so once and that Russia will be basic will be kicked out and it is the beginning of the end for Putin. So once this Ukraine um, conflict has been resolved, will the people of Belarus rise up and depose Lukashenko? Will the people of Belarus, that one's going to come out, they will have the choice. They will be faced with the choice. It's not in stone yet. Will the Belarusian people rise up against Lukashenko? Will the Belarusian people rise up against Lukashenko? Oh. It is about what is, what's in it for the, and giving and receiving help. Giving and receiving help. Uh, financial help on the world stage to set up a solid foundation. It's not uh, set in stone. There's nothing that has the people have not decided they that they will face the truth. They will have to make a choice, but they have not decided it as of yet. This is about coming together, partnerships, contracts with the rest of the world. He's come up again, King of Coins, and setting boundaries in regards to the government, new beginning, authentic reform. Death does not necessarily mean death. It is about uh, death and rebirth. But I always very strongly read this card, no matter what deck, about authentic reform. So um, what I'm getting is that uh, the Belarusian people will come together with the rest of the world in regards to this um, corrupt figure, they will set boundaries, they will defend for the sake of a, an authentically reformed government. So they haven't made the choice yet, but that is the outcome that I'm getting. And I just want to quickly read on this young lady. Sick, oh, it's... <laughs> Svitlana. I'll, I'll call her by her first name because at least I've got half a hope of pronouncing her, but Svitlana, who has come out declaring herself, uh, she I don't know the politics of Belarus overly, I'm assuming she is the main contender, main opposition. What I am finding really fascinating, and there's so many of these countries that are conflicted, uh, Russia, Belarus, Egypt, Afghanistan. It is, um, where else have I read on? Um, uh, Myanmar. It is 
powerful woman figure that is coming to the fore and declaring enough and, and setting the new tone. That's what I'm reading on all these countries, that it will be the women that, that make the change. But tell me about Svetlana. Tell me about Svetlana. Tell me about Svetlana. I'm getting a chill up my leg. Tell me about Svetlana. Full Celtic cross, please. And then that will do us for today. Fascinating reading last time. But I, sorry about the volume, I, so I didn't put it out there. But she, there was this woman, female figure. And then lo and behold, a day or so later, there is this woman figure. So tell me about Svetlana. Tell me about Svetlana. Okay, so we've got these boundaries being set. Is that the, if, have I reached the, yeah. So, sorry, I just wasn't sure whether it was me stumbling or, or the cards telling me go for it. And it is the cards telling me go for it because we've got this king of swords on the base. So the boundaries will be set there will be this def challenging defence, if that makes sense, made in regards to the current government and systems of government in Belarus. There is a plan that is going to come to fruition. This is the past. This is loss. This is what the Belarusian people have experienced, um, have realised um, what they have lost and this is in the past but there is full awareness of this in the future now this is my crowning the reading I should say potential future now this card has a couple of readings um, can be about loss which I never read it as um, it is about walking away from what is no longer serving you but I also like to read it as uh, walking towards and you've got this female figure overlooking what is happening I wonder if this is Svetlana walking towards what will work for you I think I saw an image of her she is a brunette but this is following the new path walking away from what's not serving following a new path to what will <clears throat> immediate future is the uh, reap what you sow uh, introspection it is um, looking closely at uh, what um, you are harvesting what not physically harvesting but what has been harvested from what has gone on in the past this is the immediate future there's reassessment Un, being undertaken in regards to what is happening. Okay, the external influence. <laughs> Give you one guess who this is at the moment. He is the current external influence. He has Belarus chained. He has Crimea changed. I'd love to do a reading on Crimea in the next couple of days. Uh, he has these... Um, uh, power brokers in these cunts, these countries chained to his toxicity. Don't need to tell you any further who that is. Um, and the internal influence is the betrayal, the deceit, the sabotage. Um, so this is on uh, Svetlana, but this is also on, this is not her, this is on Belarus itself chained to the toxicity externally, internally, um, they've been betrayed. They've been sold off to the highest bidder. I mean, if you have a very close look at the figure in him, 
he's gloating, he's smug, he's done it for himself. The hopes and fears. The hopes and fears is this rebuilding of a solid foundation. For Belarus, this is the hope. This is uh, Svetlana's hope, is that she can come together. Again, we've got uh, a female figure here working diligently with uh, two others. So there may be three in her immediate circle. Uh, but this is about um, coming together, working together, building a solid foundation. And this is her hope that she can come together with others and build a new future for Belarus. Now, future outcome for her <clears throat> is, it is a 10, so it does mean the end of a cycle, but this is about um, prosperity. This is what her aim is, to bring prosperity back to Belarus for the families. So this is all about the home hearths, the people of Belarus. <clears throat> we have this King of Wands figure. He is my, um, he is my card for uh, Zelensky, the leader of Ukraine. So I wonder, and I have said that what goes on in Ukraine will determine what goes on in Belarus. The people are waiting, and I'm wondering if uh, they're going to form a new leader, uh, a new partnership with Ukraine, and reintroduce themselves onto the world stage. So the world is about um, uh, endings. Um, it can be about endings because it is the last card in the Major Arcana. But what I really um, like to read about the World Card is that it is the culmination of an achievement and it is the unity of diversity. So it is on the world stage. Again, a female figure achieving something and it is the reunification of diversity or the unity of diversity bringing together the country we've got the queen of coins she is all about domestic stability domestic security um, she is a practical figure again you've got this female coming forward so we've got these female figures coming forward very strongly uh, to lead now, don't be fooled by the emperor, it's not always Putin, but this female figure who is compassionate, respected, uh, caring, um, becoming the leader as things progress from a different point of view. We've also got the king of coins, so we've got the queen of coins, the king of coins, the ten of coins. Um, so this is um, okay as things are seen from a different point of view in regards to Putin. So this is my card for Putin rather than the emperor. He likes to think he's the emperor, but he's not. So domestic stability, bringing together everybody in, in strong leadership where things will be seen differently regarding Putin. Got the King of Swords, uh, sorry, the King of Swords here too. I'm thinking that she will be working in partnership with some, uh, a powerful um, male by her side who is insightful, truthful, bringing forward the power of the um, logic to beautifully balance her uh, Queen of Coins. Also got the Page of Swords and the, the Page of Swords and the Page of Coins to complement these two. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is being introduced. This is um, a new chapter, endings and beginnings. This is a new chapter for Belarus. She's bringing a new chapter as uh, they are the. the she, she is leading the destruction of um, 
accept what was so that it can be built back better. Now, if you have a look at the two figures that are falling out, they're not particularly um, upset at the destruction, which is a positive. So this is the um, uh, pulling down of old ways, breaking down of old systems and structures to be able to rebuild. We then have the Knight of Coins slowly and steadily and the Ace of Cups, which is the um, you start. So, looking positive for Belarus in the future and very much reflects my reading of the other day. Um, very much reflects my reading of the other day. So I hope I've got the volume right in this one. Uh, so thank you for joining me. If you are in any of these areas and you cannot um, comment publicly, but you want me to be aware of something or you want me to read on something, my email address is below. Don't hesitate to contact me. Um, you can um, uh, not sign it if you want. Um, use whatever method you can if there's something particular you want to comment on in regards to these countries. So I do understand that you are, a lot of these countries are being monitored electronically. Um, so if you feel you can't, then fully respect it, um, but please look after yourselves, take care, and better times are coming forward. So engage your strength, your inner strength, and look after those around you. Take care. Bye-bye.